Hi everybody, this is Dr. Dan, and this is the third video in our Project Libre instructional series on uh, setting up our project planning for BME 261L. And so last time we left off, we had all our tasks scheduled that we wanted to schedule. Again, I could do more, uh, but I think I've shown you enough so that you can get uh, going for your project. Um, and then now we want to like think about how long things are actually gonna take. And so what we want to get to now is to the calendar. And so Microsoft Project, Project Libre, they use a work calendar that's pretty common for professional, right? Five days a week, working eight hours a day to calculate how long it will take for work to get done. I know that's not exactly how we do things in school, so we can adjust the calendar to suit our needs a little bit. Um, in the end, it doesn't matter a lot as far as the times. The more important is like just to how many days and how many hours we're putting in to get the work done, and that helps us with the planning. So I'm gonna do an example here, but you can set your calendar uh, to whatever works for you, right? So we're gonna go to the calendar and look at how it is. The calendar, it shows up in a bunch of different places. So it can, under file, um, there's a big thing that says calendar. Under task, there's a thing that says calendar. So I'm just gonna click on the calendar, right? And there are some default calendars, right? So by default, it's a standard calendar. If we click on a work day, it's like you're working from eight to 12, lunch break, and then working from one to five. Okay, and then weekends, if we click on a weekend, there's no time working. Okay, so maybe those aren't exactly our hours, so we wanna make a new calendar that more accurately reflects what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna click on new calendar. I'm gonna create a new calendar. That's, uh, I'm gonna make it a copy of standard because it's pretty close to standard, right? But I'll call it my calendar. And hit okay. So one of the things you could do is we go to options. You could change like hours per day, hours per week, days per month. That stuff's not really that important, so it's not necessary to mess, mess with that at this point. Um, but we can mess with the working times as well, like if you wanted to change the working times when you work, you could do that. I find that to be also kind of a waste of time, unless you really wanted to schedule stuff hour by hour. Uh, I find that pretty unnecessary uh, for our project. But we can uh, adjust individual days, and I think that's what's more useful, right? So like for instance, let's say I go over to Thanksgiving. Right, and I say, you know what? I am just not gonna work Thanksgiving and the day after Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select both those days and I'm gonna say uh, non-working time. It takes out the time, it makes them gray. All right, but then maybe I also realize that, okay, during the end of semester crunch, I'm probably gonna need to put in a little bit more work to get all that grading done. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and select like uh, the 7th and the 14th here and I'm gonna say, that's non-default working time, okay? So that means it's gonna schedule me up as if I'm working eight hour days those days as well. Okay, and so that will just help when we're planning, it realizes I have an extra day uh, of work in there. So I just made a couple changes. Again, you guys might have uh, bigger changes to make. Again, I don't worry about the hour per hour thing. I worry about more like which days I'm gonna be working on stuff. Okay, so I'll hit okay. Now we have our, cam our calendar set up. And we are ready to set up our dates for the Gantt chart and really start to plan this thing out, right? And so we're going to go to each task and make sure we have the right calendar and we're gonna make sure that we have the right number of hours and the right time. Okay, so let's start with the uh, finished grading tasks, right? So for these, I'm gonna let project plan when I should do them, I just need to calculate how much time it will take to get each one done, right? So let's say for BME 245L, I have 120 students, um, which is 40 groups if it's perfectly distributed. Um, so it, you, you know, the MIC testing papers might take about an hour per paper. So that's 40 hours of grading, okay? So we say, project understands that each day is eight hours, okay? So the duration I have to give here uh, for the grade MEC testing papers is five days, right? That means it's 40 hours of work. Okay, then I have grade exams. Um, individual exams probably take about 15 minutes each. Team exams, hopefully they're much better and mostly correct, so I'll say those are five minutes each. Um, so if we did all the math, 120 times 15 plus 40 times five, that's 2,000 minutes. Um, which is like 33 and a third hours. Um, so I'm just gonna call it 32 hours. Uh, so that's four days, right? 32 divided by eight is four days. So that's four days. Reflection essays, um, you know, maybe about three minutes each. Uh, so that's six hours total um, for 120 students. 
So I can put 0.75 days, which represents six hours. Um, same thing for bioethics reflection, 0.75 days. And then finalize and submit grades. Um, you know, I think that the TAs probably each will work about an hour on that, and I'll spend another two hours on that. So I can call that like four hours total, uh, which would be half a day. So I'll call that 0.5 hours. Right now, I'm going to go over to our chart, and we see now it has some of these uh, times set up to be the correct length. It does have us doing all these tasks simultaneously a little bit. So we'll talk about that, and we'll work on that in the, in the future. But you can see now we know that based on all this timing, uh, we can start grading MEC testing papers 12, 11, allegedly, right, if we were able to do this all at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing as far as uh, scheduling. Uh, the n amount of time it's going to take for all our planning tasks, because that was the other thing I really spent a lot of time doing. Okay, so I will say inventory takes about two hours, which is a quarter of a day, right? So I'll put 0.25. Um, ordering. Okay, so I do need to leave some time for delivery, but the actual, like, my work of ordering itself only takes about two hours. So I'm going to put another 0.25. But I'm going to add in here another task, which is delivery. Right, so I need to make sure I allow time for delivery. And I'm going to say delivery, I got to have 10 days just to make sure our stuff gets there, right? Um, and there's plenty of time for shipping. Okay, and so what I need to do now is on delivery, I need to add the predecessor is I have to order first. I think that's pretty good. I, I, I think I will need um, to order supplies before I grow out on my cells, but maybe not. Maybe I'll have enough stuff, so I'm not going to mess with it just yet. Um, but right now, we can have our delivery happening during the time we're growing out cells. All right, then uh, clean and start incubators. You know, it's probably about a, a six-hour-ish task by the time I get all those done. So I'm going to put 0.75 days in for that. And now I get to my cells. Right, so actually seeding the cells, right? That's my job. It only really takes about one to five hours, like, or one to five days, like one hour. Um, but it will take some time for the cells to grow out, right? So I think I'll put in, I'll leave four days for the cells to grow out. Again, passaging will be pretty quick, so I'll just put in another hour, which is 0.125 days. Cells grow out for maybe four days, just to be sure. Another passage. Cells grow out, uh, again, four days. Uh, freezing cells, again, uh, maybe I'll take two hours. Uh, so I'll put 2.25. The cells will take a, a day, and then, you know, just probably an hour to put into the uh, liquid nitrogen. Okay, as far as setting up Canvas, um, you know, I think that's probably about 24 hours of total work time. So that's about three days. And to make syllabus is probably... I don't know, close to eight hours, you know, one day. So I'll put in three days and one day for those. Okay, I think those are pretty good estimates. I mean, it's kind of based on my experience. So the more experience you have, the, the better you are at actually project planning because you kind of have a good idea how long things should take. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is, you know, we set up our calendar for a reason because we want to make sure if these things fall on certain days that we use the days that we want to work and we don't use the days we didn't want to work. So I want to make sure I set up the calendar. So I'm going to click on this take inventory. And you see task calendar here. Okay, and so my calendar didn't show up. Um, I'm going to make sure it's there. Calendar. Okay, my calendar is definitely there, right, with the adjustments I made. Okay, so it's kind of annoying. I'm going to try something. I'm just going to try to save this. I'm actually going to try to uh, close it and open, open it again. Okay, my calendar's there. Okay, for some reason, my calendar is not showing up. I'm not entirely happy about that. Okay, because my calendar is not showing up, I'm not going to worry about it right now, but we're going to get to it eventually, um, and I'll see what happens. Okay, but now we have this set up. Uh, our Gantt charts much more accurately reflective of the time stuff's going to take, okay? But you can also see it has a lot of this stuff happening simultaneously, right? Like set up Canvas and make syllabus are happening during the same time I'm supposed to be doing other stuff, right? All this grading 
is happening at the same time, right? So I am going to need to fix that a little bit. Um, and so in order to do that, I'll show you how to set up resources and help us plan for actually when we're going to be able to get work done.